Oh, that got different. <laughs> Brother. A few moments later. We a time run father. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday evening to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So just the other day I made mention of an incident that took place in a vlog where a female chartered a taxi and the taxi operator took her against her will. In that video, I made mention that the man's name, the accused taxi man's name is Errol Bailey. But for some reason, I forgot to drop the picture in the video. Now, I did not use a voice clip from the female but i've heard the voice clip surfacing all over social media so today i will definitely bring to you that same voice clip that has been surfacing on social media and i'll also give you the picture of the perpetrator of that crime so listen to where i go on yeah my good man you can put it out men, men i really have nothing to hide yeah after me tell a man let me out the man not let my old elvis and so me a open the lock, so the man a lock the lock. Elvis, me no know what, me just jump. And so I finally open the lock to a level where I could not jump and I see the people them. Me just jump. Me just jump, I say, see that me got dead when I jump. But me not dead in ya. None of them not kill me and rape me. None of them are going to rape, rape me and then they are going to want to kill me. So I time I jump out and broke my neck or something. But... I now go so. You know what hurtful thing? Yes, now after after me day, me kinda catch back my breath now and you know I'm kinda get back normal cause I write I write at Ilcrest Avenue, me jump out and I write in front, think look like I'm I want school over there. You see after my jump out this time everybody come cause they build up one place to sort of like I want big building and build they probably want apartment building. Uh, so man, the people them come, some security and some other little people they follow and one teacher girl they come cross to me. Uh, so man, uh, she did, did um, throw the peroxide on my hand and my foot and whatever because them did a bleed out and so man, she cleaned them up for me, right? So there you have it my peeps, uh, the female stated her claim. A report was also made to the police so an active investigation is presently underway. The police is seeking the assistance of the public to locate the whereabouts, the accused man, Errol Bailey, for the crime committed. So watch this now, my peeps. The police are reporting that they have seized three illegal firearms and more than 30 rounds of ammunition during snap operations in three separate parishes across Jamaica yesterday, Tuesday, the 30th of May 2023. The weapons were found in the parishes of St. Catherine, Clarendon and also Westmoreland. Two men have been arrested in two of the incidents. In the first incident, which occurred sometime about 5 p.m., the Portmore police stated that they had a targeted raid carried out at a dwelling house on Wallen Avenue in Brayton, St. Catherine. And the police seized this 9mm pistol, a Taurus pistol to be exact, with 10 cartridges. 34-year-old musician Barrington Davis, otherwise known as Jacinth. The musician Barrington Davis 
was charged with unauthorized possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The Clarendon police recovered a .38 revolver along with six cartridges in Maypen. The weapon was found wrapped in a white marina in a black bag at an open lot in Windsor Avenue area. In the Westmoreland operation, the Westmoreland police stated that one man was taken into custody following the seizure of a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 16 cartridges and another magazine with 5. The weapon and ammunition was found inside a house at Blackheath Road in George's Plain, Westmoreland. The police stated that an active investigation is presently underway into all three snap raids. Now over there in the Garden Parish, boy, I may tell you the Garden Parish definitely not going so rosy since the other day. A man end up losing three pints on Sunday. Poor I may tell you, the knockings and clappings continues. Now a man end up losing three pints whilst playing dominoes in the usually quiet community of Eltham in Ocheria Centre on Sunday. The man known only by his alias as Lagar Scott was among four persons who end up get can up during a late evening knockings and clappings. So reports from the police suggest that sometime shortly after 7.30 p.m., gunmen driving in a black Toyota Axio motor car pulled up to the corner shop in the community and opened gunfire hitting the group of men who were sitting down playing dominoes. All of this took place at the front of the establishment. The car with the criminal elements sped off in the direction of the exchange community. According to the residents in the community, they heard well over a dozen can beat and were alarmed that such an incident could have taken place in their usually peaceful neighborhood. One community member stated, and I quote, Eltham is a really quiet community. We usually don't have incidents like this. And it is very puzzling because Laga was just an ordinary man who did menial jobs. He was primarily a grave digger, end quote. Another resident stated that he was probably in his mid-60s, probably early 70s if memory serves correct. It just seems rather odd what could have been the motive, if any. Now my peeps, I've said this time and time again that right across the length and breadth of Jamaica from Moran Point to Negril Point straight knockings and clappings no matter how remote your community is take nothing for granted these criminal elements are wreaking havoc in some of the most remote places in Jamaica where once upon a time was a decent farming community with only law-abiding citizens. Well, gone are the days, my peeps. Wake up and start live in our present-day reality. Criminal elements are no longer just for Kingston and certain parts of St. Andrew or the ghetto areas, so to speak. Some of these criminal elements are wealthy. They are living right among you in the upper echelon of society. And they are literally rubbing shoulders with you in the farming communities also. So don't be surprised. Just be on your guard as always. And as on the spot news media always telling you, you know, my peeps, continue to look out on the corner eye. Yeah. Because what? The old dirty corner boy them. Always out there. Alerts. Yeah, man. A word to the wise is most definitely sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.